Hey guys, we are here in beautiful Margaret River, actually about 13 k's out of Margaret River. We're at a beautiful little homestay called Big Valley Campground. Um, and we've just checked in, but the experience of check-in was so good. I have a feeling that we're gonna really love it. We're stopping for a week. First time we've stopped for a week, actually the entire time we've been on the road, so we can't wait just to get a little bit of downtime. Um, I thought I'd do a quick video um lots of questions coming through around the pop top and the opening back on the hybrid camper and around how much extra work it is um it certainly is a little bit of extra work but i thought i'd show you how quick and easy we're finding the setup to do um really quickly we've landed the van the legs are down and stabilized jockey wheels in place and i've just taken the exterior pins out of the roof all up probably took us about three minutes or four minutes to get it all done after we decided where we wanted to to pull up so let's get in and actually see how quick and easy it is to do this roof in the back so here we go the roof itself you start at the front I just put one hand here and lever it up there and when you, before you do the back just whack one of these safety pins in place that's what the pins look like you just slide it through a little bracket I'll lift the back grab myself a little pin up she goes and then I'll whack a pin here as well and now on to do the back okay now we've ripped around to the back of the van um the only only issue with this is if you've been down a red dirt road like we have you get a little bit of uh stuff on your your nice black shirt but anyway you quickly just pull out these big locking bolts which what keeps everything in place in the event of the latches failing undo a latch on that side undo a latch on this side and then really really easily these just drop right down i always leave these bolts in the spare tire here because if i forget about them they just pop out so we're about to throw the bed up or throw the back out and the bed out yep. um uh, mavis is going to go around to the front of the van and uh film it from film it from above right, so i just get up on the bed in here while ant opens up the hatch i just give him a bit of a hand when he unlatches it i kind of just push the sides out to him you're right and then I just need to unclip the back wall and then I just lower it down to ant got it got it and then I just change the there's little clips so just change the positions of the clips and then help ant pull it up and he locks it, sorry, he locks it into place. And then I set the bed up. So I just take the doona and the pillows off. I probably need to take my shoes off. But Haven't you made the bed yet, mate? <laughs> I just get up here, just grab the front or the back of the bed and then just slide her into position. We've also got a big mattress topper on this bed too, and it folds over really well, even though it's quite thick. And the captain throws the doona out. Oh. Dee loves the bed to look really, really perfect. <laughs> I generally don't mind, but she's got this pretty much down pat. Generally, while she's doing this, I go to the esky and grab myself a beer. <laughs> Because I've been driving all day. I just need to slip my shoes off. I don't want to put shoes on the bed. And I just tuck the sides in. Just for those Jawa people here as well, we use in the Infinity 13, which is the same as the Infinity 15, we use king size everything. So a king size mattress topper, king size sheets, <laughs> king size doona and doona cover. There's lots of talk on the owners group around that. We just found king size fits really well. There we go. You even get fancy flash pillows. And a little throw rug is so handy for those cool nights 
when the dune is not enough. So, and I just throw it on there. And so, there you have it. Bed's Dee, made. Dee's getting really good at this. <laughs> so, guys, uh, I know that um, there's been a lot of conversation around it. Hopefully, this has been a little bit helpful, particularly for those people who are still making uh, a decision on a hybrid camper and whether you should go for a, a fixed back or an open outback. Um, in some of our other videos, you would have seen some of the pretty full-on full drive tracks that we get onto. So we just we like the idea that we can go out to 16 foot um, when when the back is open, but keep the van at 13 foot so that when we're going through those really really tight um, tight full driving tracks that we've got the van um, in a nice compact uh, setup and it means that um, we can get more places with the van without doing damage or as much damage as, um, as you probably could with a much longer van. So. any flap kits um, we've been traveling for a little bit now and uh, we kind of feel like um, we've got it down pat so I thought I'd um, do a bit of a demo video and actually just show a few things a few point of reference maybe to make it easier for everybody what I really strongly recommend is that you try setting it up at home for the first time so you're not at camp under pressure to get everything set up when it's windy and those sorts of things and what I also strongly recommend is once you've got it set up properly make sure you're actually marking um, your poles with what's the back of the van and what's the front of the van because every time you pull up then you know exactly which one I'll show you a couple of other points of reference though you um, need to look for the sail track for the Sunbuster to, to feed through. It needs to be on the inside. And also when you're actually inserting um, the anti-flat kit, you look for the ridged or the curved side um, to be pointing up. And you're also looking at this little uh, latch that goes in um, to the awning track um, to be pointing down. So we always actually keep it apart when we're setting it up. So first things first is you just get that little latch in there. Do you and want to do that again? Just grab it and slide that in like that. And then I always have a little stool because I'm a little bit short. <laughs> My wife's a little bit taller. And then just have that little lock nut here really loose. Now we've been set up for three days. I'm just doing this video for, for the purpose of showing what everybody to do. So that's still nice and loose there and on. And then you move this on. It's not really clear to see, but there's a little piece of plastic up here, which your anti-flat kit will sit into. So you slowly just push it down onto that. Make sure that it locks in nicely. And then once it's fully extended, just lock it up and the bar's in place. The next step is to just grab your yellow pieces. I always have them off and then just grab a piece of awning, grab it down and then just slide it down. Danielle's better at this than me and it goes over. I'll take that one off. Probably should have taken them all off. Just grab a piece of awning down and over and it pulls it back nice and neatly you just repeat that all the way along i'll go this way and do it's two good, more. good to show oh we'll do two more okay pull this off sun's probably in the way yeah just grab a piece of awning slide it over grab it and then slide it over piece of awning out slide it down 
and then just slide it over and it's as easy as that just making sure that you've got that piece of plastic now come up the other end quickly what I meant by this um, the sail track and the um, the Sunbuster um, awning extension that you can actually get from Joe. This is an awesome piece of kit. We've got the Infinity 13. Um, the awning now extends over just over the fridge, but we're sort of facing um, to the northeast here, and uh, the weather comes from that direction. So for a bit of extra peace of mind, um, we grabbed this kit from the guys at Jawa, and it makes a huge difference. And it's really good at shielding the sun at the same time. Uh, we've also got the end um, for the back of the van, uh, but we uh, haven't got that up at the moment because it's a little bit extra set up and we didn't really need it depending on how we're orientated. So that sail track is really simple. You just slide the sail track through all the way to the edge there. And then um, in your actual annex kit, for, um, for the van, we're not traveling with our annex, it's only the two of us and it's just too much set up and we tend to do three or four nights in one destination and move on. But these poles are all available within um, your annex kit so you don't need to go and get extra poles. Um, and then we just attach it, put a bit of a structure in here, guy rope it down to the ground um, and then just tie the ends off with the hockey straps that come into the kit. I just pull it out at a 45 degree angle and you've got this really nice almost transparent shade but you've also got a bit of protection here from the vinyl from the actual rain coming in onto the fridge if we're cooking and the weather's coming from the other direction we'll obviously throw this end up and it gives it again that peace of mind that it's going to um, cover your kitchen if the weather gets bad so hopefully that uh, helps people with the anti-flap kit um, as i said practice it at home make sure you mark the back and the front um, with a permanent marker or a nick or a sharpie uh, and you're pretty much set um thanks for watching to the end guys just a really quick shout out keep the comments and the questions coming we love to see the feedback on our videos we also love to see questions that people may have that we may not have covered in full detail in the video so reach out to us and lastly but certainly not leastly if you want to reach us on our socials where you'll find a hell of a lot more up-to-date regular content instagram us at empty underscore nest adventures and facebook us at official empty nesters uh, sorry official empty nest adventures cheers guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel and put your alerts on because we uh, love bringing you content